Hey everybody, welcome to Shit Heads. I got a lot of work to do. So first off, I'd like to start off by saying I'm going to be shooting this over the next several days, so my t-shirt is probably going to change colors. Keep that in mind. Speaking of t-shirts, I got this one from my buddy Jeff. It's actually a really nice shirt. He's the Metal Monkey Fabricator guy. I'll link to his channel down in the description if you want to see some awesome welding videos and some awesome projects that he's working on. But anyway, I got a three-day weekend and I figured it's high time that I tackle what's in this box for the excursion. And today's video, I'm going to work on ball joints and tie rods and all kinds of stuff. And, don't worry about this. This is stuff for the F-150 and you've probably already seen that video if luck has it. So, yeah, a lot of stuff to do today. I'm sorry, I'm probably going to be filming a lot of this stuff off camera because it's, well, kind of boring, uh, but I will try and record the interesting parts. So let's get into it. Okay, so I've made it to what I like to call the fun part, which I've got everything taken apart, brakes are off, dust shield, uh, ABS sensors out of the way. Got to get the tie rod off and knock these ball joints loose. This top one has an eccentric cam inside of it, and that helps adjust the camber caster and all that. But to get the bottom ball joint out and to get this separated, I got to do some, what's the word I'm looking for? Percussive persuasion. Yeah, this ought to do it. go oh. Oh. great success okay now we've got it out on the bench and you can see it's a little rusted up but no big deal uh, this one's got to come out that way and this one's got to come out that way but this one's got this little c-clip and take that off and to get that apart <laughs> I got this and you can tell by the amounts of dust on it just how frequently I use it which is not very much look at that it looks brand spank new <laughs> All right, I got the c-clip off it's actually been so long since I've used this I got to figure out which one I need to take out first because the tool won't fit with uh, you'll see. So yeah, I gotta do this one first because if I try to do this one, this one will be in the way of my shaft here. Got it. There we go. Yep. Bingo. So here's the new one for the upper, and I just realized something. It's got a fitting for a Zerk, and I don't have a grease gun. Awesome. And first, let's clean this up, shall we? There we go, nice new shiny ball joints in there on rusted metal, but 
I digress. It'll be nice once it's all said and done. All right, so now that that's all back together and everything, got the eccentric cam for the upper ball joint. Uh, Moog was nice enough to supply me with the new cotter pin because I don't like reusing cotter pins. But all this beating and banging around has had an adverse effect on this. So this is all dirty, so I'm gonna clean this off, put new grease on it, so that way I don't get dirt all over my new-ish bearings. And I say new-ish because I replaced those when I did the brakes, and as you can tell by the rotor, it's nice and shiny. And this actually didn't take me that long to do, so I'm probably gonna do the other side today too, and then if time allows, I'll go ahead and redo all of the tie rods and everything. And then we can get this thing aligned. Now, when I say I don't like reusing cotter pins, and this is what I mean, I do not like reusing cotter pins. I know for a fact that I replaced the one that goes here when I did the brakes and I took it off. It's in here. As you can see, I'm not missing it, but it's getting a new one. I do not like to reuse cotter pins. No, no, no. See, this is how mental I am. Even if, just in case I don't get to the tie rods and whatnot today, I put a new cotter pin on my old tie rod. I'm just weird about it. All right, so all four whole ball joints here. That actually went really well. If you're gonna do something like this, I recommend you get one of these tools. It's pretty much the only way to get those out. Uh, this tool is rather expensive to purchase. So if you're only gonna do this once, I recommend you go to a parts store and rent one, but never, ever, ever use an impact on one of these, ever. I mean it. So uh, I'm actually getting this done a lot faster. I know I said I was gonna do this over several days, so I'm gonna go ahead and tackle getting all this steering linkage out. Undo the uh, damper, undo that, undo that, undo it from the pitman arm. I'm gonna drop this whole assembly out because what I've got going on over here is I've got all the new parts laid out and I'm gonna take the old parts, lay it next to it. I'm gonna match up the distance, get everything pretty close to what's on the truck now. And hopefully that'll help out the alignment guy in the future all right we got it pretty doggone close now i just got to put it up in the truck and then tighten everything down and then go get a grease gun because mine disappeared i don't know where it went all right so we got it all back together and just to recap of what we did upper and lower ball joints on both sides all of the 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 drag link tie rods all that stuff and i did sway links yeah i forgot to mention those to you i forgot i ordered them to be honest so am i gonna take it for a spin to go get a grease gun <laughs> You bet your ass I'm not. No, mm -mm. no, I don't want this thing moving until I get some grease in those ball joints. So we'll jump in the F-150 and go for a little trip. That's cool. Look at that. Look at that kit right there. 90 bucks. Will it work? Yeah, maybe. This is my problem with coming to Harbor Freight. I've already got what it is I'm looking for, but... Uh, my brain just goes, ooh, shiny stuff. Forgot I should call the tire shop. See if they've got time. Southwest Tire, CJ. Yeah, hey, uh, do you guys have time for an alignment on a Ford excursion today, two-wheel drive? Yeah, alignments are just first come, first serve. So just whenever you bring it, we'll put it on. Ooh. All right, well, let me pump some grease in these fittings, and then I'll swing it down there. Okay. All right, thank you. Grease gun acquired. Let's grease this thing up and the alignment shop's got just enough time to do one today. Okay, so excursions off the alignment shop. I've got a mess to clean up. We will come back to this. Camera on, the, the battery on the camera's about to die. So yeah, I'll be right back. Oh, and real quick, yes, I'm recording this one on my phone. And yeah, but anyway, like I said, the, the battery on the camera was dying, so it's charging. But uh, real quick, shameless plug minute. Um, I have a bunch of stickers left over. I've got a few going out today, but this is what they look like if you want one. That right there. Yeah. All right. So hit us up on Facebook if you want one. All right. Link in the description down below. All right. The alignment is done. Black Pearl is ready. They parked it way out here in the freaking boonies. They said everything was looking good. It's just, it's a little weird. They say when you turn left, it kind of stays left and you turn right kind of stays right but that's probably the new ball joints they can be a little stiff the more it drives the the, the looser it'll get so well oh, good it's still got its catalytic converter check it out 
check engine lights on. I have to address that issue. Too. Yeah, you know, it, 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 that pulling to the left when you turn left, pulling to the right when you turn right, it could also be that that damper kit that's on it, and the cheap Pro Comp crap. Probably have to, you need to find something else for that. Way better than it was. All right, so she's back home. Everything's good and solid. I know I said I was gonna film this over several days. I honestly thought it was gonna take me a heck of a lot longer to do that. But thankfully those ball joints came out really easily. Uh, the steering was easy. The alignment was done quick. So it, it just turned out to be a lucky day. But don't worry, there's still a ton to do. I still got stuff over here I need to put on. These are the rear sway bar links. This is the parking brake cable. And then there's these little seat cushion cover things that you plug them in and they they're they're heated yeah because my wife really wanted that and winter's coming so i need to get that put back in oh yeah i almost forgot yeah that's got to go back on on the front bumper and those have got to go back in it too so yeah plenty plenty more to do but anyway that one's gonna wrap this one up thank you for watching we'll catch you next time